Hi, my name is Laura Harrington, and I'm here today to explain to you a little bit about the English horn. So here's the English horn here, and you'll notice it's a pretty large instrument. It is related to the oboe. Since it's bigger, it's going to sound lower. If you know of the Peter and the Wolf story, um, each instrument is a different character in the story. So the flute is the um, bird, the clarinet is the cat, and the oboe is the duck. Now there's no goose in this story, however, if there were, the goose would be the English horn, um, a lower sound than the oboe. One distinguishing characteristic of the English horn is the egg-shaped bell, and also there is a double reed, and I like to use nice bright thread colors on my reeds. Also there is the Bocal. You can get bogles made from different types of metal, and then there, there's usually a cork piece, and it just goes in the top of the instrument. It sort of acts as the bottom part of the reed. So when you're testing out your reed to see which one will work that day, you would soak your reed for a few minutes, and then you do what's called a crow on the reed, and you can tell by the sound of the crow, um, you can get an idea for the sound the reed will make on the instrument. The more octaves you hear in the crow, the more uh, depth you'll have to the sound of, on that reed. This particular English horn is a Larray. It's um, an old model made in about the 1960s, the early 1960s. And what I liked about this instrument when I played it was that it has a very dark um, sound to it. And actually when I first bought this instrument, it had all skin pads. So all the, the pads under each key were skin pads and the edges of the skin pads are very round. And so when the air would come out of the holes of the instrument, it lended to the dark tone of the instrument. Um, however, skin pads are very hard to um, keep in adjustment. So I got the instrument overhauled and had all cork pads put in there, which changed the sound of the instrument. It's, it's a little bit brighter now. Um, but this particular old model Loray English horn has a very dark tone to it, which is very unique. One of the most well-known English horn solos in the repertoire is uh, in the New World Symphony. The composing is sort of simple, but somehow very meaningful 